As I was saying, folks, the, you know, the characters that I just mentioned for DLC I'd like to see, but there's also other characters that hopefully will get that DLC treatment in the future, too, uh, when this comes out and the DLCs are announced and they'll get and put into consideration. Because think about it. This is a huge roster you could work. You got DC's got a huge roster. I mean, think about it. You got Piper and Trickster from, well, of course, the infamous Countdown. Um, you got Jason Todd and Donna Troy. You've got Green Lantern, if you will. Well, of course, well, yeah, Green Lantern's in there, I should say. But you've got Captain Marvel. You could bring in there, hopefully, unless he's already in there. You know, just a whole list. I mean, again, you got Batgirl you can bring in, and I'm not talking the Batgirl of Avengers West Coast. I mean, not Avengers, but of Justice League West. What Justice League West? No. I mean, I'm t I mean, I'm looking at this right now. Let's see. Donna Troy and Jason Todd, like I said. You got Poison Ivy. You can bring in there. Power Girl. You can bring in. I mean, just a whole lithrine. You got the atom you can put in there. Heck, you can bring. You can bring in the alternate dimensions, like Adam Girl, for goodness sake. If you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, then who is she? <laughs> you kind of get what I'm trying to point out. I mean, they just got a whole. You know, license worth lots of stuff they can use. They got a whole license worth of stuff they can use here. Like I say, you know, it's it just hard. I mean. We got Mary Marvel you could put in there, for goodness sakes. Mary Marvel, who Lynn Carr's talked about a lot sometimes. The thing is, what the point I'm trying to make is you've got so many characters. They've got so many characters that they could work with to do the work with as DLC characters, as well as possibly the ones... They, I mean, we don't even know who's cameoing. Was doing cameos, and some that, and those that I mentioned at the part in the part one and in the part two could be part of those cameos, but it'd be even better if some of them were the DLCs down the line that you could download and have uh, playable. I mean, the I mean, here's the one thing that they said is kind of cool about this: they're gonna let you. It, it's something along the lines that's gonna allow you, uh, from what I understand, to l let's see. I'm trying to see here. It says, it says online multiplayer will include King of the Hill. You know, set a set. Of, well, you know what King of the Hill is. But it said something along here. That with downloadable characters. That you'll have some, that you'll be able to use something and to download something. You'll be able to do something basically. Okay, here it is. The game will connect to the internet during use and download the information required for players who have bought DLC characters to play against others who have not. So, in other words, Instead of being like blocked out because you don't have the DLC character, you'll still be able to play against those people that let you that have that DLC character. So let's say, for example, like I said, um, let's say that one of the downloadable characters is Jason Todd. Let's say you know you you download him and you go online and you face an opponent that doesn't have him. You'd still be able to play against each other. I mean, heck, another character I'd like to see would be Beast Boy, Starfire. You know, these are characters I would like to see as downloadables and not just cameo appearances. But that's just my personal 
preference and opinion. Overall, Injustice Gods Among Us has definitely got a lot of people talking. I mean, they got these battle arena things going on on YouTube and all that with their own channel, and you'll be able to vote like what characters you want to see in a battle, then see it. You got people like celebrities getting behind it, like Kevin Smith. You got online reviewers like like Angry Joe, and I think James Wolf may be getting behind it. I mean, things like IGN. I mean, these are games. I mean, these are people that have been are celebrities and known for reviewing and stuff that are getting behind this battle arena stuff. Of to really help promote the game because obviously if you have nether realms behind it then you have yourself a heck of a game there's, there's no doubt about it I mean, if you have nether realms behind it you have yourself a heck of a game no doubt but now the question is though will it live up to to its hype when it comes out and I truly think it will I truly think it will and I truly think and not only will it live up to its hype, but it's going to get exactly what this is. This here is not the original release of Mortal Kombat. This is actually the complete edition. And I've got a feeling down the line they're going to do the same thing with Injustice. I really do. But to me, am I looking forward to this? You're damn right I am. I mean, if Nether Realms can deliver something like this, this to us, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can deliver with Injustice. And from what I've seen, it looks tremendous. It looks damn tremendous. I mean, the, the rendering, the 3D rendering and stuff is just fantastic. I cannot wait to play this game. And I am going to pick it up. I'm not going to rent this sucker. I'm picking it up. I'm going to do what I've done before with games like Sonic Generations and Soul Calibur V. The moment it comes out, the week it comes out, it's going to be mine. That's the whole plan. I'm going to get this game, and I'm going to own this game. And I know one thing. My nine-year-old nephew, who's a big DC, who's a Batman fan, Superman fan, if it's a T-rated game, he'll be able to play it. And I know he'll like that. So, but my expectations on it are very high. I'm looking really forward to it. It sounds like they're working out, out all the bugs that they've had with like MK versus DC that they had with this a little bit. So overall, I'm really looking forward to it, seeing exactly what character, other characters will be added on. I'm looking forward to seeing what other characters will be added on for cameos and non-playable roles. I'm also looking forward to seeing who they're going to announce for DLC because that, besides the roster you're getting now, right off the bat, the DLC is what fans are going to definitely look forward to when it's announced. And again, like I said, I'd love to see characters like Hawkman, Jason Todd, uh, you know, Batgirl, you know, Shatara, Poison Ivy, you know. I'd like to see that. I really would like to see that. You know, heck, even put Clayface in there if you have to. Put in the female Clayface says, if you have to. As DLCs, because these, I mean, again, they just got a, a whole roster of DC characters, superheroes and villains that you they can work with. They are almost unlimited. So to me, they've got a library there to really work with. But again, like I said, I'd like to see the characters that I've mentioned as DLCs. Starfire, Beast Boy, you know, you name it. Terra, believe it or not, get her in there if you have to. Just a lot of these characters. So... But that's just my personal, again, my personal preference. And you can agree with it if you want to or not, but that's who I would like to see as the DLC, as some of the part of some of the DLC packs announced down the line. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys looking forward to Injustice Gods Among Us? Because I know I am. Who would you like to see as the DLCs, and who else do you think you would like to see added on to the main roster of the game and possibly see as non-playable cameos? Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Video responses are greatly appreciated. Sorry this was in two parts. I got a you got a time limit of 15 on all the videos, so. But this is a game that obviously you have to do multi-part videos on if you're discussing it. So, uh, talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. Comments and video responses are appreciated.